Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we're looking at The Ambassadors, Issue 6, The Thrilling Conclusion from Mark Miller and Matteo Scalera. The sixth issue miniseries from Image Comics and Miller World is wrapping up in a grand fashion. Cannot wait to share it with you guys, so subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and let's get right into it. All right, this is so cool. This is the sixth issue. It's a double-sized issue. Um, one of the most fun and exciting series of the year, I feel, for Mark Miller and um, a host of uh, amazing artists. This issue is drawn by Matteo Sclerera. This is interesting because it's a, basically another Mark Miller superhero comic book, um, superhero group comic book. I mean, you know, I feel like they're kind of interchangeable at this point. Um, this felt so big and amazing to me to begin with because we had like a bunch of great artists. Uh, Frank Quitely kicked off the series. Then we had Carl Kirschel, uh, Travis Charest, Oliver Koipel, uh, and I forgot who did issue five. Um, and then we have Matteo Sclera here. Um, I like Matteo Sclera's art. I feel like I've heard of him uh, peripherally. I kind of wish we would have had like a more exciting artist like that lived up to the hype of, like, Travis Charest and um, Frank Quitely, but it's still good. So Mark Miller, writer, Matteo Sclerera, artist, Lee Loweridge, uh, colorist, and Clem Robbins, letterer. Um, this, I don't know, is this, like, a manga style? I guess it is sort of, like, a manga style in a way. Like, um, it lends itself pretty well to the superhero genre here. Um, it is quite fine. It is very nice-looking art. Not my favorite aesthetic, I can't lie, but um, very serviceable for the cinematic sort of approach that uh, Miller brings to all his comic books. Um, you know, we have this Korean um, scientist and her husband who have ba basically perfected the super soldier formula. She wants to use it for good. He wants to use it for evil. And um, she forms a team of heroes, he forms a team of villains, and it culminates in this big battle here. It's kind of interesting, I was thinking about it, like, if you want to nutshell this, um, six issues, a double-sized issue for the finale, and basically it's about the formation of a superhero team and their first mission, which is kind of interesting how, like, far and wide it was spread out, because I do feel it like it had a lot of breathing room, but I think that that speaks to the nature of comic book storytelling um, currently. Uh, you know, I was thinking, like, gosh, if Chris Claremont were writing this, like, this would have all happened in, like, uh, three quarters of an issue, and we would have had the setup for their next adventure. But it's just not like that anymore. You know, these comics these days are definitely set up for... You know, we do have brilliant cinematic panels like this. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure there are a lot of Mateo Sclerera fans out there, and... Um, I do like his art, but I'm just saying, like, it's not my favorite. I can't lie. Um, I was saying something and then I forgot. But I just think, like, it speaks to the nature of the way comic books are sold, told and sold these days. Um, especially at the big two, it's all about five-star part story arcs to get that coveted um, collection, you know, because there's this notion that, I don't know, trades sell better, like... The flappies are dead. I don't know. I don't know. You know, the the nature of the comic book industry is so interesting right now. And there's so many great books out there. A lot of them indies. A lot of them Kickstarters. A lot of them self-published. Um, but, you know, Image actually um, has a lot more enjoyable books for me than, like, Marvel and DC. Don't get me wrong. There are some Marvel and DC. But I feel like Marvel and DC are so, like... Uh, far away from, like, the comic books that I loved and grew up on and that, I don't know. But, like I said, there are there is some goodness in there. Um, of course, it's graphic and gross and grandiose and, I don't know, um, you know, you're going to get that in a Mark Miller comic book. Um, all the, the recruits, the super soldiers, were gifted their powers in a lottery, much like Willy Wonka, um... You know, they had to be, like, nominated and bid. You could even nominate yourself. And then she chose. And then we have the final showdown between her and her husband here. And um, there are a lot of uh, twists and turns that are kind of fun. Um, Mark Miller is, like, one of my uh, favorite writers. I do enjoy what he does. 
Um, I mean, is it becoming a little derivative? Is he, like, it's funny because, you know, you base your sort of franchise on derivation, like, to make up a word. Um, do you, do you run the risk of becoming derivative of yourself? Interesting question, right? Because it's like, what really separates this from Jupiter's legacy or the authority or whatever else that, you know, shocking superhero with a twist book that Mark Miller has done? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just fun entertainment and I'll take that too. Because, I, I mean, I didn't hesitate to pick up this book. I've anxiously anticipated each issue and I really haven't been disappointed. You know, there are a few little things here that are a little, you know, tropey of Mark Miller, but, you know, who cares? Like, I guess, you know, you know, that's like getting mad at Chris Claremont for writing I'm the Besser is at what I do. It's like it, it made him legend. It's his brand. So this is the end of volume one. It basically set up the team, like I said, and um, put them on their first mission. I'm kind of anxious. I am curious. I do want a volume two. I wonder if it'll follow the same... Um, uh, format of having a different artist each issue, because if it does, I have a wish list. Um, if we're going by, like, people that, uh, Mark Miller has worked with before, I would love to see, um, Lano Yu, uh, John Romita Jr., um, Sean Murphy. Yeah, bring it. Bring it, okay? Stuart Eminem. Why not? Pepe Larraz. Um, and I guess the trade is coming. So bring it, bring it. I just have to say, like, like I said, like, since it, it seemed like such a grandiose kind of epic in scope, like the big blockbuster event, like it felt a little like anticlimactic just because it sort of wrapped up just how you kind of know it would. That's why it's like we've had so much time over the span of six very like, you know, breathable issues to sort of want and expect like a, a huge big anticipation and payoff and they actually kind of settled it kind of quickly in my opinion but that's just my opinion i'm still gonna highly recommend this book tons of gorgeous art over the course of six issues one being a double size and you know on point characterization and clever gimmicks from mark miller all over the place so Michael Fitzroy definitely recommends The Ambassadors. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Pick up The Ambassadors Trade. You might as well now, since it'll be out, um, where is it? August 9th. And then we wait for Volume 2, hopefully. I'm, I'll be interested in that. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification. You don't want to miss my coverage of um, exciting, unexpected books like this coming up. And uh, that's it. I'll bring you more soon. Thanks, guys.